Hey yarn lovers, it's Gary and I'm coming to you from my living room here in Vancouver, Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Tuesday, September the 14th, 2021 and this is podcast number 122. So I didn't think that I would get enough time to do a bit of a recording but I wanted to jump in here real quick before our last final couple of days in the apartment in Vancouver. We are moving and as you can tell there's boxes behind me in the living room and I am sitting perched on a little footstool. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, really wanted to come in here because I'm super excited to showcase what I received a couple of weeks, maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago. And it was from our one and only lovely Crystal over at Bag o Day. Now, I was in a live, one of Crystal's lives, going back about maybe a month ago. And uh, she was uh, talking about some yarn. And uh, all of a sudden she was saying that she wanted to send me something. So I'm really, really like always beside myself and quite uh, taken back when... Um, when there is that uh, acknowledgement there and I just am such a grateful person and friend to have received this box from Crystal. So let's crack into it and take a look at what Crystal has put in the box. Sorry, I kind of stepped out of the shower. Uh, I've been packing all day, so <laughs> a little bit kind of like uh, discombobulated and I even had to have a shave and just sort of freshen up to feel a little human again. So here's the box that arrived a couple weeks back and everything came in this lovely organza uh, tote bag where you can draw string it and store all the yarn without it having any kind of like problems with dust. So it's a really nice way of storing. So thank you Crystal for this. Oh my God. So we have to have a look at this yarn. The first one that was in the box which she showcased on her live was my favorite yarn. This Noro yarn here, the brand I absolutely adore. Thank you so much, Crystal. This is well and truly above and beyond, but I got three hanks of this lovely green heathered, almost like uh, it's twisted with other colors. I just love it so much. And there's enough yards in here for me to create uh, a long drapey wrap or if I want to do uh, work in a vest, I can uh, definitely put this into the front and back panel on a vest. Once again, it's this Noro, the world of nature. It's a made in Japan yarn brand. And this particular yarn is called Kiri, K-I-R-I. You get 100 grams, which is 150 meters, and the content makeup is 45% silk, 43% wool, and 12% mohair. It is a little rustic, as most Noro yarns are, but I have made garments using similar content from Noro, and I am fine with, with it either against my skin, or I can wear an undergarment as well. Uh, especially if I'm wearing a jumper or I can uh, put a t-shirt underneath and that would be nice. Uh, a little bit more about this yarn, it's two weight yarn and the color is 22. And they are suggesting here to machine wash, lay flat to dry. Uh, also recommending a needle size of four millimeters. And I think that would probably translate as well over to crochet hook, maybe a, a five crochet hook, five millimeter crochet hook. Absolutely love these colors. Oh my God, they smell so good. Oh, thank you so much, Crystal. This is just amazing. So I'm gonna put them in a basket in front of me that I have, and then I'll pack them back inside of the box. Absolutely love them. Not only did she send me those, but she also was talking about some Madeleine Tosh that she had. And uh, these yarns are to die for. They're amazing. And Crystal, you've chosen colors that can be used together and in combination with one another. 
in color work or I can separate them because there are so many hanks here into a few different garments. I absolutely love them. So I think I have a few more in there, but I'll start off with the Madeline Tosh here. I think they were uh, one-offs is what they are calling the hanks. So there's the one-off hank and it's the Madeline Tosh variety of yarn and it is their hand-dyed yarns absolutely gorgeous and soft i love them so much i don't know when i was having a rough time uh when this box arrived with all of the different moving parts of uh having to shift house pack up all the belongings get all the ducks in a row for uh, when we're purchasing our new place. So there are lawyers, there are different uh, people we've got to talk to with the mortgage that we're taking out for the new place. So I felt like I was like pulled in many, many directions. And when this box arrived, it almost made me cry because it was something that was, I guess, a reminder to tell me about how wonderful this community is but also how special people have made connections with here on YouTube and I absolutely love how much this brought happiness to me so thank you so much Crystal and to the Bod family for all of this wonderful yarn so this color here is amazing it's like this emerald green uh, with a little bit of sage in there, kind of tonal yarn. And the colorway is called Herbology. I like the name, it's very nice. And I've got two of them, enough for a shawl or a wrap. And let me tell you a little bit about the yarn. So the Madeleine Tosh Merino Light, it is fingering weight. You get two, uh, 420 yards or 384 meters. It is suggesting here to use a 2.25 to 2.7 millim five millimeter uh, knitting needle or a 2.25 to 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, you can machine wash this uh, on warm and lay flat to dry. So these are wonderful. I love them so much that is a perfect representation of the color as well. So I'll put those in the basket. Another color here with the same contents is Teal Lagoon. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Absolutely stunning yarn. I have another green, kind of more of a warmer green with slightly more yellow tint to it than the previous Herbology. And this one is called Olivine. And this one here is also a wonderful foresty color as well. Beautiful, beautiful color. And this one is called Marbled Woodland. Oh my goodness. I love that. All the nuances in there of these different shades of the forest or the woodlands. Here's another one here. And this one is called Maple Grove. I absolutely love this one as well. It has a little bit more of the burnt darkish colors and the tones are a bit more, I would say it's more like a duo tone. And this one here, which is probably Crystal, one of Crystal's favorites because this is her color for sure and I love it so much. And I can see this working up very well with all of the choices that I have in color combinations. This is called Amber Waves. So wonderful, wonderful. So what I was thinking with all of these different colors was I could choose the warmer ones to put together in a fade blend type of work. And maybe then all of the greenish blue tones can go together as well. 
And if I feel inclined, I might mix them as well, where I can have maybe a pop of bright, like a coppery uh, brass color with the the dark, the greens and the greenish blues. I think that would work up really nice as well. So the next thing that I wanna share with you that's from the box is something that's really commemorative of where Crystal is in her, the stage of her career in the fiber arts. And she's always had this dream of creating her own line of yarn and she's well on her way there as well because recently she uh, designed with the help of the Paul Ply Yarn Company a collection of colorways that speak Crystal's language. So I was super fortunate to receive this in Crystal's box as well and the this is one of the colors that are in her collection. It's the color called Steve the Maine Coon Cat and Steve is the mascot to Bag o Day. Uh, you may have seen him on her channel uh, lounging around somewhere in the background and this is a great representation of the colors of Steve. So we have these oranges freckled with black spots, uh, a little bit of uh, kind of more of a beigey type white off-white color for the bib of Steve's chest as well as his feet. So this is a great representation of the colorway for the cat. I absolutely love it. So thank you so much, Crystal, for putting this in. And it's the variety of yarn that has a bit of Selena in it. So you might see uh, some sparkle happening. Really, really gorgeous yarn. I love it so much. I got three hanks of them and I feel very, very blessed. So uh, wonderful, wonderful. Daniel did an amazing job. So I'll leave Daniel's link down below as well to his uh, website in the case that uh, there might be other colors that you might wanna see from Daniel's collection. Uh, but I do know that the 10 that he's doing for Bag A Day are very exclusive to Crystal or they are exclusive to Crystal. So uh, yeah, you update on the colors when they get updated uh, to check in regularly with Crystal's Etsy store to see whether any of them are available. I absolutely love them. Thank you so much. And they're very, very, very soft. And now to the yarn content that I have in my hand here, 75% Superwash Merino, 20% nylon, 5% uh, silver Stellina. That's the sparkly bits. And you get 100 grams in each hank, which is a DK weight yarn, number three. And here it is saying 225 meters. So that's 225, that's uh, 450, 675. That's quite a number of yards there for me to play around with. The washing instructions here suggest to, uh, or recommend that you wash it in 30 degrees Celsius temperature water and do not tumble dry, lay flat and leave to dry. Absolutely stunning yarn. <gasps> I feel like patting it. It's like a, a little cat. I feel like Dr. No. If you've not seen Dr. No, he has a white cat, but this is orange, orange cat here. Love it. Put that in the basket down here. What else can I show you? So reaching in here, I'm grabbing more of my favorite brand of yarn. It's Noro again, the world of yarn. I think it's called the world of nature. Sorry, the world of nature. So I've got four, I can see you, four balls of this variety of yarn in a beautiful color that transitions very autumnal, kind of reddishy to purples. Uh, there's a little bit of orange in there. I love them so much. So I have uh, earthy toned ones, which are more of a yellow coppery variety. And then another set as well, which are, are kind of more green and uh, lime colored. And I think I'm going to put them all together in a big blanket. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what kind of style of blanket I'm going to make yet, but 
look for these happening in a blanket sometime, maybe uh, towards uh, winter season when I can cover myself up while I'm making it as well. It'll be nice and snuggly. So let me tell you a little bit about the yarn. It is made in Japan because it's the Noro variety of yarn and it's called uh, Kageyaki. Kagei Yaki. Yaki. I'm so sorry, I'm butchering these names. The color is number 18 and it is a, oh, it's a multi blend. And here it says 40% wool, 24% cotton, 18% silk, and it looks like 18% again of viscose. Next up is a huge hank of yarn here and it's kind of from purple to kind of more taupey greens and I absolutely love it. So this one is Majana, Majana and the colorway is called Vera and this one here the fiber content is 55% silk, 45% merino, the yards are uh, 520 yards it's an eight ounce hank so quite a, a number of um, yards in that the uh, knitting needle suggestion is a five millimeter probably a five five and a half for a crochet hook it is a uh, hand wash suggested and lay flat to dry and this is a product that is made from the USA so that's awesome I really, really like it. I've never heard of this uh, yarn brand before, so I'm I'm really gonna enjoy uh, checking out this yarn, uh, checking out their website to see what else that they have, and working with this one. So awesome colors. I love I love the how it blends from the two main. There there are two major colors in here, but they kind of tone. Uh, there's a total blend between the two of them. Now, for this, so I have to stop there uh, to just kind of like compose myself again. Uh, I don't know, there was a, it's a moment to kind of like, you know, capture my breath and uh, just not, uh, yeah, not, not fall apart on camera. But uh, the next thing in the box that I have was this pack here of yarn in this beautiful green color. Green's my favorite color. And it is from the brand Arukuna, Arakunia. Sorry, I'm really bad at pronouncing these foreign names. Um, so Arakunia Yarn, and the collection is called Mana. It's hand-painted pure mulberry silk. Wow, I don't think I've had 100% mulberry silk. So the back does tell me a little bit more information about the yarn. It is a four weight worsted, um, 100 grams in this hank here which gives me 220 yards or 200 meters. They are suggesting to hand wash this, lay flat to dry. And the knitting needles they're recommending is a 4.5 to 5.5 millimeter set of knitting needles. No crochet, oh yeah, there is a crochet suggested size here. 5.5 to 6.5 millimeter hook. And the color, it looks like it is 87 made in China and or it could be Mana 14 so the number could be 14 or 87 I'm not too sure about that I absolutely love it and it's super super soft I think that this if I wanted to make a combination of two types of yarns I would probably blend these two a more matte tonal with a shiny green those two together would work up beautifully so if you wanted to have an element of um, a focal point within the 
within the construct of a fabric that these would probably work up really nice as a focus point. Yeah, even though that the weights are different, I sometimes, you know, will hold two strands to kind of like even out the weights a little bit more. And this one here, even though it says it's a full weight, it is quite a light full, full weight, but I do like those colors together. Thank you so much. And now lastly, this took my breath away. I had goosebumps when I pulled this yarn out of the box. I had seen this being talked about on Crystal's site uh, on her video about a month ago. And it's the 100% cashmere. Holy smokes. Now, I'm totally getting goosebumps. Again, Crystal had only three of these and one of them was in a giveaway and this is her second one. So I'm speechless. I really am. That this is 100% cashmere and it's so soft. The colors are just my colors. They're the, all the sea colors, like the emerald greens, the uh, little bit of teal that you would see in the ocean. There are some kind of uh, foresty colors in the middle here. I just love them. I don't know. This is amazing. This yarn speaks to me like it needs to be uh, somehow incorporated in a fabric that is more of a artistic piece. The stitch that I need to think of to make with this one, I believe will be something more uh, organic in nature. So nothing geometric uh, in, the, in the fabric itself, but something a bit more organic flowing, uh, just to highlight the fact that all of these beautiful colors will naturally come about as the yarn plays out the way it wants to. So um, no cutting of the yarn for this one. I'm just gonna try and help the vision that the artist had when they dyed up this yarn. So let me tell you a little bit about this yarn. It is called Classic Elite, Elite Yarns by Embrace and it's 100% cashmere, spun and colored by Italian artisans. 250 grams, which gives me 625 yards of this glorious, beautiful cashmere yarn. And it's suggesting to use a US seven needle knitting needles, which I don't know what that is, but I would think that that's probably a, maybe a five millimeter set of knitting needles. It looks worsted to me, maybe a little light worsted. And the care instructions are to wash by hand, which is exactly what I'm going to do, and to dry flat. It's made in Italy, exclusive for the Classic Elite Yarns company. And the color here, the number is 99399. It doesn't have a colorway name, but holy smokes, look at that. It's beautiful. I am speechless. I am over the moon happy. I am so grateful and appreciate everything here. It was not needed, but it is super valued and it's going to be treasured uh, and I cannot wait to work with it. So thank you so much, Crystal and the Bod family for sending me this wonderful yarn. I don't know what else to say. Thank you just does not seem to be enough. As we all say, when we receive something beautiful from this community, when we extend our love to each other, but thank you. Thank you again and again. And with that, I think I'm going to get back to packing. 
and put this beautiful yarn back safely into a box where it will make the trip over to the new place and I will love to work with this when I get to my new place and what a great celebrating way of uh, keeping my knitting and crojo going uh, for the next, I'm going to say, year at least of all of this beautiful yarn that I want to get through. Okay, with that, I will wish everyone a safe week. I hope everyone's doing well and I appreciate you joining me with this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.